Welcome Racquetball friends and family. We are here at the 2015 Suncoast Open live from Sarasota, Florida for our final match at the 2015 Suncoast Open. I'm Laura McCormick and joining me is WRT Pro and semi-finalist here this weekend, Andre Pariga. Zero, zero, zero. Hi, Laura. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. I think we're in for a great match here today between David Bobby Horn, who we see there in the service box, and Alex Cardona. Starting good. 1-0. Yeah, Bobby's starting out with a point. I think the key for Cardona in, in this game is his serve. If it works well, he will get this. Unfortunate skip there for Zero search one. Horn. Now you saw, um, you faced Cardona in the semifinals actually, so um, what's some insight? You really had him pretty rattled there in game one, and I think you were forcing him to make a lot of errors, which we don't normally see from Cardona. And um, what advice would you give Bobby one if he could hear zero. you right now against Cardona? Uh, the like the first you have to do is like your shot selection it has to yeah. be like almost perfect because he kill a lot of balls and and your serve serving and shot selection all right there's a point for cardona I think they're going to see a super competitive match here. Now, these two most recently saw each Zero other one. in the semifinals in your hometown, Paria, of San Luis when we were there in August for the San Luis Open. Yeah, that match went to tiebreak, and it was really good. Bobby won that one, but maybe this is going to be different. I don't know. Anything can happen. That's what one I like to say zero. here at the WRT. Well, the last time these two faced off in San Luis, as we were saying in August, Bobby defeated Cardona in the Zero semifinals in a tiebreaker and then went on to face Jake Bredenbeck, defeating him in two and winning his first WRT title. Oh. Good get. I thought that was a good shot. One serve zero. But the referee called it uh, skip. Skip ball from the ref. Another skip ball from Cardona. Two serve zero. Score is two serving zero. Zero serves two. Kind of a slow or, or I guess competitive start, which is what we would like to see here for our final match. Bobby Horn is up two on Cardona. Nice shot by Cardona. One serves two. He's shooting the down the line as hard as he can, and that puts you in trouble. Another down the line shot. That's going to tie it up for Cardona here early two serves in two. game one. Two serving two. Wanted 
didn't get it. Good pinch by Cardona. Three serves two. Four serves two. And another skip by Bobby. Slow start for him. Now Cardona's leading five two. Five serves two. Cardona definitely known for his drive serve. Seems to be going for it against Bobby. Now Bobby looks like he's uh, taking a little minute here. He needs to change something. Six serves two. It's kind of slow. He's not moving his legs as good as yesterday. Two bounces. Good shot by Bobby. Well, this will give Bobby a, a chance here to refocus as he Two goes back six. into the service box. He is a mentally strong player, so not too worried about him yet this early in game one. What a splash shot from Bobby. That makes it three. Three six. serves six. Six serves three. Cardona now with a three point lead over Horn in game one of our final here at the Suncoast Open. Nice confident shot there from Bobby. Now I'm just realizing both three serves six. obviously both Bobby and Cardona are sponsored by Gearbox, but they seem to be wearing matching outfits here today <laughs> for the final. <laughs> Cardona, nice get by both players. Ooh, oh, smart now shot. that's smart, yeah. Hitting it right back down the line, forcing Cardona to dive twice and managing to shoot it past Four him. serve six. It's gonna give Bobby a point here as he closes the gap. Skip ball by Cardona. Five serve six. Cardona managing to not six serve let five. Bobby tie it up there, at, at holding him at six serving five. Bobby has to be smarter when he is in front of Cardona. Five serve six. Unfortunately, I feel like that ball just came right back to the middle where Cardona was camped out, and it was a nice setup for Cardona. Now, these two 
as we were Six talking about, five. has faced off a couple times. The first time back in the Mount Rainier Open in Seattle in February, where Cardona defeated Horn in the semifinals 12-2. And then at the San Luis Open in August, where Horn defeated Foster Cardona six. in the semifinals, 13-8. So another kind of rematch here. We saw Bobby rematch against Bredenbeck last night. And here's an opportunity for Bobby to potentially win a championship on his birthday. Six or so six. Those of you watching, today is Bobby Horn's birthday. Six serve six. Match is tied up here in game one, six six. <laughs> Some solid swinging there from Cardona. Six serve six. And like you said, Padilla, um, Horn needs to mix up his shot selection a little bit if he wants to keep fighting here against Cardona. setups and it's not doing the right shot. He but that's one of the right yeah. ones there. <laughs> Seven serve six. Ooh, need to be some like spin on that ball or something there. Choking Cardona Timeout. up. And with that, Cardona's gonna go ahead and take a timeout with Bobby Horn now taking the lead. Seven, six. Seven serving six. We'll be right back in just a moment. And we're back live in game one of our final here today at the 2015 Suncoast Open. Eight, serve and six. Between David Bobby Horn and Alex Cardona. We're now in the lead, eight, six. Nice cross for shot. Six serves eight. Strings. Oh, and Cardona has a bit of a string issue. He's going to go ahead and take a quick equipment timeout. We'll be right back in just a few moments when we get Cardona back out. And we're back here after that e equipment change from Cardona. He had a broken string Six on his eight. racket. And now he's back. Six serving eight. And a nice side out there for Horn. Eight serve six. Looking pretty comfortable now with his two point lead as he steps confidently back into the service box. Nice side out oh. for Cardona as we're kind of locked here still at six serving eight. What a power in that shot. That's, that's ridiculous. Six serves eight. Great shot from Bobby. Eight serve six. Kind of comfortable with the lead. He came back from three six. Yeah, that's got to be a good feeling for him. <laughs> Let's get ball. And there's a point for Horn as we get some movement here, putting him up now by Nine, three. Serve six. Oh, what a get and what a big skip there from Cardona. 
Yeah, I think we're starting to see that pressure. Um, Ten serve six. Warren is putting on Cardona, and Cardona kind of making some errors, which we don't exactly uh, see from him. But we saw last night in your semifinal, and you put the pressure on Cardona as well. And another escape. Wow. What's going on there? Yeah, what's happening with Cardona here? That was an easy shot. It's kind so of hard to get a read on Cardona too. He's one of the more um, like straight-faced players. He doesn't show too much emotion. And so I'm wondering what's going through his head right now. What do you think he needs to do mentally to shift focus and stop making some errors? I think he better take a timeout now. He better take a timeout now. Yeah, he needs to break some six. of Horn's momentum. Once Horn gets in that rhythm and gets too comfortable, he can get probably under your skin a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's a side out for Cardona. One thing about both Bobby and Alex is you can't underestimate six serves 12. either of them. It's not over till it's over. Exactly. San Antonio, I saw Bobby. Seven serves 12. Came back in a tie break from 10 3, I remember, and he won it. Yeah, I remember that too. That was a, a late match as well. Yeah, I believe. That's one thing that Bobby kind of has a reputation for is making some incredible comebacks just when you think he's down. Exactly. Eight serves 12. He's like a warrior in there. Yeah, that's a good term. Comeback warrior. Yeah. <laughs> I think he likes the pressure sometimes. I like to tease him about that. He's comfortable with it. Yeah. He can handle it. It's not a problem for him. Yeah, nice shot there from Cardona. Time out. He's going to force Bobby Horn to take a timeout here as things start to heat up in game one. We'll be right back. And we're back live here at the 2015 Suncoast Open. We got Rafael Filippini <laughs> keeping our crowd excited here. This is our final match between Alex Cardona, who we see out there on the court, and David Bobby Horn. Sounds like we got some Horn fans in the crowd. Horn is leading right now, but Cardona is making a bit of a comeback, forcing Horn to take that timeout. Score is eight serving twelve. Nine serving twelve. Excuse me, I oh, forget sorry. the score. Nine serves twelve. Here we go. Cardona regaining some mental focus against Horn. Down the line shot from his backhand. I yeah, mean, those down the line forehand. shots are working for both of them. <laughs> 10 serves 12. Oh, what a pinch. Yeah, it's interesting to see how the momentum kind of keeps shifting here in game one. We see Bobby go on a bit of a run and really attacking Cardona. 11 and serves Cardona 12. going on a run, so that's what's keeping it really competitive here between Horn and Cardona. Second serve. Let's see if Cardona can go ahead and tie it up. get from Cardona. Keeping it alive. 
great rally, an unfortunate skip there from Horn. That's gonna mean Cardona's gonna tie it up 12-12 in game one. Good gets from Cardona. Now Bobby's getting desperate. He cannot finish the rallies. He cannot finish the rallies. And 12 serves 12. Bounce, or skip ball, rather. Yeah, skip ball. <laughs> 12 serves 12. All right, it's still tied in game one. This is so far quite a game to open up our semi, our final. Like we were saying, today. Bobby likes the pressure. Horn definitely frustrated. It'll be interesting to see if he can regain his focus against Cardona here, who looks cool and collected 12, again. 12. He was a little rattled earlier in game one when Bobby was making his comeback. Tom out. Horn's going to go ahead and take a timeout as Cardona hops up in the lead there by one. We'll be right back with more of game one from the Sun Coast Open. And we're back live in our final match between Alex Cardano, who just took the lead again here in game one, and David Bobby Horn. Score is 13 serving 12. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT. 13 serves and 12. joining me is WRT pro Andre Paria. <laughs> I've been practicing saying your last name for quite some time. You've been giving you me some tips right. and... <laughs> oh, now you're going to say I say it right. Well, good. I've been hours of rolling that R. <laughs> well, the crowd uh, pretty impressed with that shot right there from Cardona. And again, that ball 14 serves coming 12. right back to him in the middle. His feet are set, and he's just too comfortable swinging away there. This, match is, now this match is really tight with uh, Bobby Horn coming back from 3-6, then 12-8 he was leading, and now we're with all the comeback from Cardona from 8-12 I think. And then we see a double fault. And now this 12 is a good position 14. for Horn. He's not worried about 12-14. I would be. Now, what was that call on that double fault? Was it because Bobby was still waiting in yeah. the back of the court? Yeah, and Cardona didn't see that. 14 serves, or 12 serves, 14. So he fired off that shot without, or his serve without making sure Bobby was ready. Ref says they're going to replay it. Bobby not happy with that call. That Cardona thinking it's his. Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, he's hanging on that service box like he should actually, be the next to service. Actually, that, well, can, that can be an avoidable hinder. Yeah, it's been really tricky here this weekend. I feel like uh, we've seen that in a lot of our quarters and semis, those avoidable hinders. Just it's a tough call. I wonder if Bobby kind of lets that get to him a little bit there and um, gives Cardona the advantage to get back in the service 14 box serves now 12. with his second game point. Oh, what a great shot. Game one goes to Cardona. 15-12. 
of course, we're going to be right back with more of Game 2. And we love to hear from our fans, so hit us up on Facebook and Twitter at World Arbal Tour and let us know who you think is going to be the champion of the 2015 Sun Coast Open. We'll be right back. So and we're back here for our more final we'll match between David there. Bobby Horn right. and Alex Cardona, who are both recipients of the benefits of the Reaching Your Dream Foundation. For more information and to donate, go to give to rydf.org. The Reaching Your Dream Foundation helps promote the long-term viability of the sport, along with helping support these players reach their dreams of playing professionally, because I hate to break it to you, but it costs a little bit to get around the world and exactly. travel and make it to these tournaments. So if you go to our uh, gift to ryDF.org, you can find out more information and make a donation today and help grow the sport of racquetball. Now I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and here with me is WRT Pro Andre Paria from San Luis Potosi. Welcome, Andre. Hi, hi. So Andre, let's put a little pressure on you here. Um, tell us, tell the audience who you would like to see um, take the championship here today. Uh, Tom's in. Both of them, they are That's my, they are oh. my, they they are my friends, <laughs> both. Of course. But uh, because of the ranking thing, I would like to to see Cardona win the championship because I'm behind Bobby. So after the tournament started, uh, I was like 2,000 points behind him. So Cardona be if he wins, he's gonna get more points. And I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, zero that serve still zero. a very diplomatic answer, right? You're friends with both of them, but you're going to choose Cardona because of your own selfishness in the ranking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, now the winner here today, the, uh, a winner gets the 1,500 points. So, the, yeah, that would give Bobby a big boost ahead of you, and I'm sure you don't want that. <laughs> I know Bobby is aggressively chasing number one, Alex Cardona, number two, Jake Bredenbeck, and number three, Polo Gutierrez. Like I said uh, before the tournament, before Point the tournament zero. started, he was like 2,000 points. I was like 2,000 points behind him, but now uh, because if if he loses today, I'm he's like 2,000 and 400. He has 2,400 points more than me because I did the semifinals and I just got 600. Nice shot from Bobby. So that's a difference. Uh, of 400, but if he wins the tournament, uh, he's gonna get zero serve one, maybe 2,900 lit. Okay, from ahead me. of you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice get by Cardona. Skip there from Horn. One serve zero. Yeah, we're working on getting those rankings up on the WRT site. That's worldracketballtour.com. So all of you at home can follow along with the rankings and see how competitive the players are here each tournament that we have. Ooh, that was an interesting bounce off that side wall. It's gonna be a point for Cardona. Two serves, zero. And speaking of points kind of changing, unfortunately, Polo Gutierrez is out right now with an injury. He'll be out for at least the next two months, and that's going to put him in some jeopardy of staying within the top three and give some other uh, players like Bobby Horn and Andre Padilla an opportunity to move up in the rankings. Exactly. He's losing points with all this tournament that he's not coming. And he's losing a lot of points because some of these tournaments he won them. Three serves, zero. So we do operate on a rolling calendar, so month to month, we end up dropping or adding points depending on the tournaments that we have had or haven't yeah. had. So it does matter how many tournaments you play and, and how active you are here on the WRT. Great shot.
Four serve zero. He started better than the first game. Four zero, yeah. Score is four zero. dramatic <laughs> zero serves four oh wow uh, what a serve one serves four two serves two four points here quickly for Horn after Cardona going on an 11 point scoring run there between game one and then coming back into game two. Score is two serving four. Oh, what I get. It's gonna be a replay. Two serves four. Two serving four. What a great four reverse two. bench from Cardona. Cardona is Five serves obviously two. one of the strongest or uh, more powerful players here on the tour. You really don't want to set him up right there in the middle of the court for a no, big swing. No, you don't want that. Definitely a, a naturally talented racquetball player as well. Swing there from Cardona for another point, giving him now a four point lead in game two. Six serves two. Showing a little aggression. Going to go out. ahead and take a timeout, see if he can regain his focus. And we'll be right back with more of game two. And we're back live here in game two, where it's nice to see Bobby Horn coming back out with a smile on his face. Looks like he's changed up, changed up his attitude a little bit. Seven serves two. Things can get pretty heated out there on the court, but a special thanks to our referee all weekend here, who's been <laughs> doing a great job handling the pressure, Brent Walters from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's now seven two in game two with Cardona leading. Two bounces from Cardona. Two serve seven. I'm pretty sure Bobby just said this is going to be a long one, meaning he's ready to uh, make his comeback start now. He's confident in in himself. Oh. Seven serves two. Yelling at himself. So tricky. You got to be your your own cheerleader, coach, and best friend. Out there. <laughs> Bobby. 
be holding up his hand. <laughs> Good try. Eight serves two. Good try. <laughs> for Bobby feels like it's starting to slip away from him and we're seeing a lot of emotion which I feel like time out Bobby a lot into that looks like he has another timeout and he's going to go ahead and use that Let's see what he can do here to regain focus again we'll be right back with more of our final at the Sun Coast Open and we're back live in our final here between Alex Don Cardona two. and David Bobby Horn I'm Laura McCormick and joining me on the mic today is WRT Pro Andre Paria. Bobby taking time out, trying to focus. He's not playing good now. That's what I'm talking about. He's not doing the right shots. He's not going to win this like that. His shot selection is off. Yeah, exactly. Ten serves two. What a serve. There's the aces we come to expect from Cardona, one of the more powerful servers and consistent servers here on the WRT. Uh, you know what? Even if, if, if he two. doesn't choose the right shot, his power make it a good shot. Like, it's harder to get because of his power. Another skip from Bobby. 12 serves, 2. Right now, Cardona has a 19-2 run from Bobby. Back in game and another one. great serve. And shot. Maybe you can get his serves, two. but you'll give him a, a setup. Right. Oh, what and a splash shot. <laughs> timeout, that's Bobby's your last. taking a timeout. He's going to use his last timeout after that splat from Cardona. Don't go anywhere. There's more between Cardona and Horn right after this. And we're back here in our final match between Alex Cardona and David Bobby Horn. Cardona really dominating here in game two and now in an opportunity to close out. 14 the serves match. two. 14 serving two. First championship point. And a side out for Horn. Now this is a strong suit. Two for serves Horn. 14. You can keep him down here. Two serving 14. There we nice go. down There's the line shot. Down the line, like you were saying, is what Horn needs to capitalize on. Three serves, he 14. To keep himself in this match. And there's a point for Horn. So that means it's a side out for Cardona and his second match point here in game two of our Suncoast Open final. Fourteen well, serves three. It looks like you might get your wish and be able to keep Bobby <laughs> down and keep him from getting points here. It's not over until it's over. Yeah, definitely not. And that's match and for Cardona. Cardona 
key play really, really well. He did play very well here, closing out game two, 15-3 against David Bobby Horn. Of course, we'd like to thank you all for watching, and don't go anywhere. We're going to get some words from both players in just a few moments. both of our finalists here today, David Bobby Horn and Alex Cardona. Let's go ahead and bring David Horn out here right now and get some words from the finalists. Of course, as Bobby makes his way out here, don't forget you can follow Bobby Horn on his official fan page on Facebook.com. You can look for David Bobby Horn. David, congratulations on making it to the finals. What are your thoughts on your performance here today? You know, it's really tough to lose a match in general for me. So um, all I can say is Cardona played really well and made me play below my normal level. So credit to Cardona for playing ridiculous, especially in that second game. He was uh, drive serving well. I, was, I, I told myself before the match not to get aced by him, but he was hitting near aces, which put me in bad positions. and. You know, against a player like that, you have to you have to be able to return serve. And today wasn't that day. I, I didn't return well enough to win the match. So um, I'm happy to I'm happy to be in the finals. But kind of disappointed that I lost that because I really wanted to win. And I let all the guy people rooting for me down. So you know, but next time I'll be back. All right. And when can we see you again out here on the court? I'm playing in the outdoor tournament in Vegas next weekend, and I'll be at the U.S. Open. Hopefully, everybody's going to be there. Yes. No. Hopefully. Great, and then everybody at home, I know watching will be there too. Um, I'll just do this the last, my last thoughts, because I know it's going to be the next question. Uh, I want to thank everybody here that had the tournament um, for coming out, watching, cheering, cheering for me. It's something that I, I love a lot and I appreciate it a lot. Thanks to all the sponsors you guys see on the walls. It's without them, I'm not here, and I don't have this even a chance at this moment to even try to win. So that's really nice to have you. Thanks to all the sponsors, Chad Bailey for running the tournament. Um, Pablo, um, a guy that helps all of us. My son, Christian Longoria. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, we thank you guys for having, having us, and it's, it's really an honor to play in front of everybody. Uh, thanks to my sponsors, Gearbox Rackleball. Without them, again, I can't play Rackleball. I can't be here. I can't do this for a job, so I can't thank them enough. Reaching Your Dream Foundation, if you guys have not checked it out, please, please, please do me a favor. Go on the website. At least just check out what's going on. If you want to donate some money to the foundation, that helps everybody, not just myself. It helps guys like Christian who's coming up, trying, trying to make a living doing the, the sport as well. It's really important to all of us. And finally, my family, friends, my girlfriend, I know she's watching. She's always there for me. All the donkeys at home, you know who you are. I have to mention them. So I appreciate everything you guys do for the whole tournament, and I will see you guys next year, hopefully, right? Good, good. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bobby. Congratulations. Don't forget to wish Bobby a very special happy birthday as well. I'm, sh I'm sure he's so happy I just gave out that secret. Happy birthday, Bobby Horn. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our champion, Alex Cardona and Rafael Filippini will be doing the translation for us because I've run out of questions to ask in Spanish. <laughs> if he needs it. Congratulations, Alex, winning your sixth WRT title. How do you feel about the match that you played tonight against Bobby Horn? Eh, pues me siento muy muy feliz por haber ganado otra vez la WRT. Este acabo de ganar la semana pasada y pues me siento muy feliz. Y pues Bobby es un gran jugador, muy muy rápido. Este tiene muy buena selección de tiros. Pero pues ahora me salió a mí todo en el segundo juego. Eh, Pues estoy muy contento por haber jugado muy bien. He's very happy to have won. <laughs> All right. No, he's happy to have won, and uh, congratulations to Bobby. He played well. Uh, he's happy to have won two weeks in a row. He won last week, and uh, so this week as well. So congratulations. That's right. Alex Cardona winning back-to-back -back titles, and this is his sixth. So now this really solidifies your position as number one here on the tour. What does that mean for you, and do you feel like you have a target, a bigger target on your back?
No, pues ser el número uno de, de un tour es, pues es muy, pues muy agradable para mí, es algo que, que nunca había sido. Eh, la gente me dice que, que cómo le hago para ser número uno y pues la verdad no sé, yo solo vengo a jugar y, y quiero ganar. Eh, pues gracias a toda la gente que me apoya eh, por internet, por, por donde, aquí en, la, en la, a las ciudades a donde vamos. Eh, soy, estoy muy feliz porque la gente me trata muy bien y pues muchas gracias también a mi familia, a mis patrocinadores, a Gearbox, a, a Pablo por todo el apoyo que me han dado. Gracias. Um, he's saying that he's just happy to be in the first place position. Um, he doesn't really think about it too much. He doesn't know what he does. He just comes out on the court and wants to win. So he focuses on winning and, and wants to win. Fortunately, he's in the number one spot. Also, he'd like to thank uh, his family, his sponsors, and everybody that support him along the way at the various tournaments. And uh, he's happy to, to be in the number one position. Okay, well, congratulations. Give it up one more time for our champion, Alex Cardona. Congratulations, Alex. Thank you, Rafa. <laughs> You're excused now. That's our presenting sponsor, Gearbox Racquetball, also uh, responsible for making this tournament possible. We encourage all of you to go check out the Gearbox booth and, of course, go to GearboxRB.com to check out all the gear. Uh, we'd like to thank all of you here in Sarasota for coming out and supporting the tournament. Special thanks to the Sarasota YMCA for hosting this event. And thank you all for watching and supporting the growth of racquetball. We'll be back in a couple weeks with our next tournament down in Modesto. You can check the full WRT schedule at worldracquetballtour.com. Thank you, and we'll see you at the next event.